Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create time signature changes in Reaper. Now, time signature change is where you change the song from 4 4 to 3 4 or 2 4 or 6 8. And you may want to change it from bar to bar because some songs don't stay with one time signature throughout. Now, in general, for your song, we could change it down here. Right over here, just double click it and change it to the time signature for your song or project. Most songs are 4 4, meaning that you count it with four beats, which means there's four beats in each measure. But not every song has that. So if you want to change your entire song, you can just do it right here to 3 4 or 2 4 or 6 8. Just click it. And it's going to change up here to that time signature. But the song I'm working on right now is in 4 4. So I'm going to change this back to the default. But what happens in this song is a few moments where the time signature changes. So what's going to happen is the top of each bar isn't going to line up with the music. So let's hear the track and watch the measures up here. Notice that a few of the measures aren't 4-4. Four, four. Like right over here, measure 6 should really be 2-4. Check it out. So right over here, at bar 6, beat 3, that should really be measure 7. So to add in that change, just go to bar 6, click on it, I'm going to turn on snapping so that when I click over here, it's right in the measure. Then we can right click it and choose this right here. Insert tempo time signature marker. And if we choose that, we can change the tempo at this point. But we don't want to do that. So we'll leave this alone. Here's our position. And we'll go down here. Start new measure time signature. Where we can change the time signature at that position. So right now it's 4-4, four, four. let's change it to 2-4. And now this next section starts right at measure seven. Let's go back to here. So the next part starts right at measure seven. So it lines up. But what happens now, the rest of the song is now 2-4. We don't want that. We want to go back to 4-4. Four, four. So at bar 7, we'll right click and insert a time signature marker right there. And we'll go back to 4-4. Four, four. So now this should line up based on its measure a lot better, which is going to make it easier for copying and pasting things around our song, as the measures will line up with the music. Now right over here is a 3-4 measure. At bar 8, so we should change that as well. Now once you start adding these, we don't have to right click and do this anymore. We can go down here to the time signature and just type it in based on where our cursor is. So I'm going to type in 3-4, and it puts that time signature change right at bar 8 where our edit cursor was. So now this is 3, 4. But again, at bar 9, we want to go back to 4, 4. 
which we can go down here again and type it in, 4-4, four, four, and it goes back to 4-4 four, four at bar 9. And again, at bar 10, it should be 2-4 again, which we could also do with the keystroke right here. Shift C, hit that keystroke, type in 2-4, and then at bar 11, it should be 4-4 four, four again. Let's hear that. And now all our changes line up to the measure. So let's review it to make sure everything lines up. Starting from the beginning, and notice how the changes happen at the top of each measure, where they should. See how nicely it all lines up, making it much easier for working with different sections of our song. If we want to copy things from later in the song to earlier or vice versa, we can place them on the right bar as our measures now line up with our music. So that's pretty much it. That's creating time signature changes in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!